Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the Heart of Ice. Now, this cocktail is inspired by one of Batman's arch nemesis, Victor. Freeze! That's Mr. Freeze to you. Having said that, it comes to us directly out of the Gotham City Cocktail Book by Andre Darlington. And of course, it's going to be gorgeously cold and frozen and served over crushed ice, hence the term Mr. Freeze. But the cocktail is named Heart of Ice because the heart of the cocktail is going to be ice. And that's just... I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to make the cocktail. So, this is a shaken cocktail and so you need your shaking tin or your shaking glass. In this case, I'm using a Boston glass and we're going to start with a little bit of homemade cream of coconut. You don't need a lot for this. We're going to start with one ounce or 30 mils. And now that we've added the ammunition for his freeze gun, uh, <laughs> we're going to add some white rum. Uh, any white rum will do for this. I'm using lambs here. We're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Now that we've continued to prime this gun, we're going to add some blue curacao. And uh, yeah, this is going to make the color look weird, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Oh, I got, I got some problems today. Uh, we're gonna use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. This looks like an Arctic sky right now. Absolutely gorgeous blue sky with that snowy base. And now we're gonna throw it all out of whack by adding some pineapple juice. The, uh, the colors for this are not going to be a straight blue, which when you see blue carousel, you might think, okay, whatever. However, we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 mils, which will give us a greenish tinge. Our next step in the process is to shake this with ice. Now I'm going to use crushed ice. You could choose to use uh, regular cubed ice, totally up to you. But what this will mean is I won't have to shake this as long because it'll dilute just that little bit faster. And I'm using very roughly crushed ice. So what we'll do is we will shake this for a good five seconds with a smile really hard. Whoa, I nearly lost that. That was close. That David's showing off, that's what happened. <laughs> All right, so pop that off with the strength of a thousand chunks of ice and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a bit of a goblet, kind of more heart-shaped. And what we're going to do is now fill this full of crushed ice. And you want to shave it all the way, all, or at least almost all the way to the top. And what we'll do is we will just generally strain this, because we're not worried about ice chips, directly on top. Now that you've done this, we're just going to cap this with a little bit more ice. So just to finish that off. And now we're going to grab ourselves an orange. And what we'll do is we will cut a nice little wedge Whoa. for the garnish. Once you've done this, you have this fantastic blue-green cocktail, maybe aquamarine in color, and a little bit of orange sitting on top to show you, I don't know, whatever, but it looks fantastic. Give it a try. Oh, really good. This is a sweet cocktail. You've got that strong coconut flavor. You have a bunch of orange, but it is cold, it's chilled. It's a perfect sipper for any time of the year. If you like Batman style inspired, <clears throat> if you like Batman inspired cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right here.